YouTubers, it looks like Trump's limiting travel from Europe for 30 days, excluding the UK. President Donald Trump said he will significantly restrict travel from Europe to the, U the United States for the next 30 days, the most uh, far-reaching measure yet in the administration's effort to combat the spread of COVID. Trump, speaking on Wednesday evening from the Oval Office, said the restrictions, which won't apply to the UK, will go into effect Friday at midnight. He blamed the European Union for not curbing travel from China in the early days uh, of the outbreak and credited his own measures with having limited the number of cases in the US. Now, what about Canada? What about Canada? Canada's still open. Everything's still pretty much open for the longest time. We, we, we even brought people back with the virus that were in China, that were in quarantine. Instead of letting them ride out their quarantine, they just brought them back on a plane. Canada has been been really arming people with flyers at the airport on a regular basis. So uh, a lot of the, the cases we have are for are people uh, traveling from China, Iran, and I don't know about Italy and Canada, but, but I know it's from predominantly from Iran and China. And Canada is like, is, is Trump going to close the Canadian-U.S. border? It wouldn't surprise me if he did. It would not surprise me one bit if he said, you know what, Canada? You're not doing a good enough job containing this. Goodbye. Uh, we'll close the border and then we'll re – then if our supplies are – if they let commercial in, commercial like trading and stuff so we can get our stuff in, at least we'll be okay. But if they close that off and we got the Bellingham port here that we get a lot of stuff that get delivered to the Walmarts, we'll be in a lot of trouble. So this is a, a really a really dangerous game uh, Canada's playing, right? Same thing with the rail blockades. They did nothing for the longest time and then you got Warren Buffett pull out a $5 billion deal. And other investors looking at Canada that it's an unstable country to do business in. So it affects us all. You know what I'm saying? Trump speaking Wednesday, so we got that. The European Union failed to take the same precautions and restricted travel from China and other hotspots, Trump said. As a result, clusters of infection in the U.S. were seeded by European travelers, he added. In a statement following Trump's address, Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf clarifies that the administration was suspending the entire sorry the entry of most foreign nationals who have been in in any 26 european nations in the previous 2 weeks the restriction does not apply for legal permanent residents and immediate immediate family members of us citizens wolf said us citizens arriving from europe will travel through specific airports where they can undergo screening for the virus wait a minute they're not going to do a canada story and arm them with a flyer those flyers help so many people and pamphlets, whatever you call them down under. The president scheduled the remarks to lay out his plan for dealing with the rapid spread of the disease he labeled a, for, a foreign virus that has led more than 1,100 infections in the U.S. and ravaged markets and the S&P closed Wednesday 19% lower than its uh, uh February high, with every industry down at least 3.9% on the day. This is not a financial crisis, Trump said. This is just a temporary moment of time that we will overcome as a nation and as a world. The World Health Organization earlier Wednesday declared the outbreak is now a pandemic and urged governments to step up um, contam uh, contaminant efforts as the number of worldwide cases topped 123,000 and deaths exceeded 4,500. Trump claimed that his early... Uh, action to restrict travel from China and other affected areas slowed the spread of the virus in the U.S. He said the administration is monitoring the situation in China and South Korea and that a, a possible entry opening could happen in if this if the situation improves. So he says, I'm not astonished, said uh, J. Stephen Morrison, director of Global Health Policy Center and the Center for Strategic and International Studies. The idea that this is going to be a solution, it moves us back into the whole idea that we have an opportunity still to close off transmission to the United States, and it ignores the reality that it's already inside of our borders. It is inside the borders, but they did, they did, I have to admit, they did step on this real quick. They did put measures in faster. Than Canada. Well, I don't know what Canada's doing. I have no idea. I know where flights are still coming in every day from China, uh, I don't know if they're blocked yet. I have to check, but I know I know for the longest time Canada took a long time to. So don't take my word on this. Look it up. You got internet. Everyone's got Google. 
right, that could tell them, or a wife that knows everything that could tell them whether or not it is working, uh, uh, if, if, if there's still people coming in, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that was a joke, by the way. Uh, so, uh, look it up, guys, on your own. You guys will find out. So, Canceling travel to Colorado and Nevada, Nevada were scheduled for this week, so the White House announced Trump was canceling. So the rallies are being uh, shut down. This is the, modern, the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront uh, a foreign virus in modern history, Trump said. I am confident that by ca um, counting and continuing to take these tough measures will uh, significantly reduce the threat to our citizens, and we will ultimately... Uh, ultimately and exponentially, uh, exponentially defeat the virus. This is like the wind, you guys. And I said this on Mike in the Night last week. It's like blocking the wind or stopping the wind. You can't. This thing is just, just like just like it's characterized like the flu, but it's 20 or 30 or 40 times more contagious. We don't know what we're dealing with. That's the problem. People are like, oh, Mike, why are you talking about this stuff? You don't know what you're talking about. Sure, I don't know what I'm talking about. And neither do they know what they're talking about. That's the problem. No one knows what they're dealing with here. So this is, is this a biblical plague? Yeah, it might just be that. We got locusts. We got famine. We got corn famine there in in, in Africa where corn, uh, corn isn't... Um, Harvest hasn't been good. Then you got uh, the harvest down in Australia where you got the fires for, for the most of their spring and, and part of their uh, most of their summer. They had these fire issues. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? You have all these issues, guys. And 2020 has been the worst year so far in the history of my life. 2020 is becoming the worst year ever. I lost my dad last year in 2019. God rest his soul. And I thought that was the you know one of the worst years. It still is, but 2020 is turning out to be a nightmare, an absolute disastrous nightmare. Guys, I couldn't say it more, more uh, enough. Prepare, wash your hands, take care of yourself, stay away from big crowds, take a step back, view the situation. Okay, like me, I have this. Uh, like I'm in my store, I get home, I, I disrobe, put the clothes in directly into the washing machine. I disinfect the bottom of my shoes. I don't walk around with shoes in my house, but I disinfect the bottom of my shoes with bleach. And I shower before I contact anybody and then and then make contact with the family after I shower. That's how bad it is, guys. And that's how precautionous I'm taking this right now because this is a, very, a lot bigger of a deal than people are. I, I just I, – and then again, I honestly think that no one knows what they're dealing with to be honest with you. So here it is, guys. Guys, don't forget to shop Mike Martins if you want. Uh, Teespring and join the channel, guys. Teespring uh, link up top here. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Lots of cool stuff in the shop. I want to thank everyone that's been buying mugs and cool stuff to kind of hang have around the house. Thanks for supporting a local YouTuber. Let me know what you guys think. Please, I really need to know what you guys think. I'll be reading your comments in a few minutes.